All right. So, <clears throat> oops. Bosk, you said you're going to do what? So I'm going to set up more bombs, blow it up, see what happens. Okay. If you wanted to wrap it up quick, you could just blow up the whole ship. I need to start small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You realize you could very well blow yourself up, too, even inside the locker, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to kill yourself. All right. Give me an explosive roll. You better roll. accidentally <laughs> kill yourself. Roll well. Might as well get my explosives up. Mm -hmm. True. Good luck, buddy. Oh, five. Nice. <laughs> five. <laughs> Plus fear. Minus your fear roll. I still get a mark. Two. Three. Isn't that interesting? I mean, it should work. It must work. And yet it doesn't work. So then I'm going to grab two rifles, get out there, and start firing at those people. Okay. Well, <laughs> they just stand there as the bullets tear through them. The wounds are so rapid, it's like a cloud of blood enshrouding them. And when you cease fire, they still just stand there just as lifeless. So... Do Hero! I, do I do weapons and combat? Sure, yeah. Yeah. You didn't need to roll on it. Do I do well, combat? Sure. Well, I'm going to call over the thing. Hey guys, are any of you there... You may all answer freely. Yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here too. Where are you all at? I'm in the bridge. I'm, I'm in the locker room. I'm in the galley line. Oh, I'm actually lounge. in the cargo bay firing at these guys. <laughs> what do I still... It's a good thing I have this earpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Um, so am I just still... Do I pretty much just see black space around me? That's right, you exited, didn't you? Yeah. Um, yeah let's I've got the mag say, boots on because they're. Let's say flash, suddenly the corridor is back. Oh. Okay. And let's say at the same time, all those doulos has disappeared. So I was stuck in the airlock, and why don't we all meet at the bridge? Uh, can we do in Cargo Bay instead? Bridge is wherever all the controls yeah. are. I like, I'm staying in the Cargo Bay then. Taking care of these guys. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like we're doing much damage to these <laughs> apparitions. So what? I'm headed to the bridge. Okay. All right. So let's see. You are in that airlock. You're going to head to the bridge where uh, Bardak is, right? Mm -hmm. Bardak is on the bridge. Okay. Do you run? Do you walk? I'm going to walk because I've still got the mag boots engaged and... <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you are kachunking your way and to And he gives me an odd bridge. look when I walk into the... <laughs> okay, so the door... The, the, doing? Do, the door to the bridge opens and Bardak is not in the bridge. Oh. Uh, Baronix, where are you at? What's going on with you? Well, I'm looking around. Was that a monster? Where that voice was. Okay, and um, let's see here. All the lights go out, and you are in pitch blackness, and the door has closed behind you. Oh. I'm gonna um, uh, respond on my calm. Which is on your other ear. And say... Did somebody close the door? No. Uh, unless, no. Unless I shot something to make it. No, because I'm in the bridge. I'm in the cargo bay taking care of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bardak, she just said on the comm that she's on the bridge. I'm in the bridge. I don't see you. Yeah, I don't see anybody here either. I don't see Bardak. I'm not even in, on the bridge. I'm in the cargo bay. Taking How am I on guys. the bridge and you're on the bridge and you're not here and I'm not there? Different dimensions. Some different. Are you in the office? No. I'm at Mount Fallon. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is creepy. This or is like the ship systems, world. actually. Like the world is. And what's up with all down. these Dulos people that keep appearing? 
Um, Bardak. What yeah. are you up to? I'm with Chip Systems. I want to try to rig, make something kind of like overload on the ship and blow it up. Okay. So I roll um, like an engineering? Yeah, give me a, give me a roll with engineering and Chip Systems. And fear? Yes. Six. Okay, um, you definitely have not found any easy way to do it. You're apparently going to have to keep working at it, which means you're going to have to take another roll, but you're not going to do that yet. Bosk, what are you doing next? Trying to set up some more I have ten on ship systems now. Okay. Oh, well, then add yourself another point. Would that have made a difference? No, I just now oh, have ten. All right. Okay. Should I mark it as plus one? Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is get some more bombs, set around these guys, tr try to do it again. Okay, you're going to put it around the people? Well, like, just places Amongst around. Amongst yeah. the people? Okay. Um, and they all start moving. Then I'm going to quickly just set it on, set it up. You know, like drop it and run? No, I'm just going to fuse. Just set it off and blow all of you up. <laughs> Teach them a lesson. Oh, I'm I'm sure somebody's gonna learn a lesson. <laughs> um, Only so one take, I can take care of all of the 100 guys just with me. Just me. I'm gonna say that you had a successful explosion. Yeah. And you are dead. Did, did they die too? <laughs> well, you're dead. You wouldn't know that. Hera, what's going on with oh, you you're now? Dead. But uh, hey, I get to explosive. Yeah, sure, go for it. I'm at five. Too bad I don't know if they did. Good thing that came up because so he's already dead. Is there the alarm now because of that huge hole in the cargo? Yeah, did it? Was there a breach? Um, you guys do not know anything about an explosion. Okay. Okay, yeah. is there anybody on the bridge? Do I see anything? Um, no, everything looks absolutely normal. Are the screens on? Um, sure. And there's no alarms going off? Nope, no alarms going off. Everybody can mind their own business. <laughs> I can't read it. I'm gonna walk the ship. I'm gonna walk the ship. I'm gonna like slowly, you know, check the galley lounge, the bunkhouse. Okay. So you exit the bridge, you go out into the corridor. Do I see any Dulos people? No. Um as a matter of fact. Uh, the door closes behind you, and the corridor you see in front of you has changed. There are no doors on the sides, and it's longer than you remember. Really long. You can't even see the end of it. I'm going to keep walking. Okay. Um, Bardak. Time for that uh, roll to see if you can blow up the ship. Tell I already beat you to it. A seven. You know what that means. Success. Success with the complication. If I succeed, what do the complications <laughs> matter? <laughs> because, yes, explosions went off all over the ship, but okay. everything... You got... Everybody's looking at the lab, or the map. You got the lab and the airlock to external hatch. We'll say everything from the stairs to the cargo deck forward remains intact. What? So I hope you have the bridge door shut. Yeah, I think it was shut. Okay, so you have had a semi-successful explosion. Okay. Hira. So I was continuing to walk. Okay. You do have a, a door that, that comes up on your right. Go in the door. When you open the door, 
It is not a room on this ship. It looks like an infirmary, but filthy. There is sticky blood on the floors. There's something black smeared all over the walls, which themselves are yellowed and brown. There's a smell like decaying meat. There are people lying on tables, moaning and suffering. You see their skin is festering with some awful affliction. And you see that two of the people are Baronix and Bosk. And then you blink, and it's gone. And it's the fresher. Bardak. Oh, and as you look around, everything is normal in the corridor again. There's all the rooms, or the doors where they should be and everything, and you're standing at the doorway of the fresher. Bardak. Uh, so we've lost all hatches and half the cargo bay, is that correct? Um, you uh, we will say that all you're sure of is that half of the upper deck has survived. I'm going to open the airlock to the cargo bay. Um, sure, you can try it, but you get no response. Um, you don't know if it succeeded or not. I'm going to open the bridge door. Okay, when you open the bridge door, you're looking at something impossible. Okay. Um, nice. There is open space uh, on the half of the upper deck that's been destroyed, but you're not being sucked out into the vacuum of it or anything like that. I'm going to run towards where I think engineering should be. So, fine, we'll say that you are running, mm -hmm. and you are nearing the end, what appears to be the end of the floor. Do you want to just keep on running? Can I keep on going? Okay. Eventually... You are running in the blackness of space. And when you turn around and look behind you, there is no ship. So am I floating? You, sure. I mean, it, it'd be kind of hard to tell, right, if you're moving or not. Well, when um, you're just I'm not move. still running on some kind of surface. No, you don't feel anything under your feet. Okay. Okay. Now, um, this is where... You all wake up in front of the guy again. Okay? Um, so, what happened? Everybody tell Eric what happened. Well, you each got a message that I said. Vanished. You okay. vanished. You each well, got a mess. Um, I, didn't get a, I didn't get a message. You did? Yes, you did. You replied to me with okay. Oh, yeah, that one. I said, do not say anything. You are dead and will be silent until the fire break. Don't say a word. Yep, that's right. So um. each one of them got a message telling them to be quiet until there was only one left. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be Bosk, but whatever. You know, I could have at least done it to you. But we, uh, we are just so out of time. So you were all very groggy and confused. That took a lot out of you, that last one, for some unknown reason. The guy says to you, well, now, had a rough time in there, did you? Well, let me assure you, this isn't at all complicated. You people need not suffer. I'm not sadistic. I can't abide torture. I get this stomach thing. It makes me squeamish. That's why I use this method, this nightmare inducer device. That way, I don't have to watch what horrible things are done to you. But I must know about Dulos. Their secrets. For that matter, just how is it that all of you have such unwavering resolve in the face of horrors? Perhaps you've been trained in interrogation resistance techniques? Is it because of this drug they give you, this Cialidin? That is what it's called, right? The very latest in their mind control drugs, if the rumors are true. Or is the simplest answer that you're capable of such inhuman feats because you are not human? That's what some people say about you Dulos people, that you aren't human. And pretty much everyone brave enough to even whisper about it says that the power behind Dulos isn't human. Maybe you'd like to tell me about that. Are you, in fact, human? And what exactly controls Dulos? 
I don't know. Well, I'm gonna say all I know. Like, am I supposed to talk still? Sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can talk. Yes. Okay. Things did not go according to plan. So, so you can talk. What all I know is that so our past lives had some kind of where we decided to sign something for Dulos and all our memories got erased. So we were told. So and that's what we were told and that's all we know. I have a sample of brain water if you want to analyze it because I want to know too. And like I said before, I'm happy to show you the way bills. And what is brain water? Brain water is what they tell us to drink every day. I have no idea what it is. It could be the cyalidin that you speak of. Yes, but we don't know. We haven't had a chance to analyze it yet. But I have a sample just waiting to be analyzed. I've been waiting to analyze it. We had some problems with our lab, otherwise we would have analyzed it earlier. He grins, looks a little softer, and says, okay, I think maybe we can do business. And then, boom, a distant explosion, the room goes dark. Then dim orange lights come on as the auxiliary power kicks in. Unnecessary systems like nightmare chairs shut down. The, the guy picks up a comm from the console, holds it up and says, what's going on? And then there's another boom and the door going out of this room blows in. You can't really turn your head to look. Soldiers in black gear rush into the room. Soldiers with green doulos patches on their uniforms. Oh. They all, of course, have the same earpiece as you do. Oh God. Where did he go? You look, and sure enough, your tormentor is nowhere to be seen. Two of the soldiers begin freeing the four of you. The rest are searching the room for hidden f doors, floor panels, whatever. One of the soldier barks, let's move, move, move! The two soldiers, one gets in front, one gets the back, and they start rushing you out of the room. As you're being escorted down this hallway, you see that it's a space station. There's many corridors, many turns. Tremors keep shaking the station, and you hear explosions and gunfire, near and distant. We'll get you to your ship. You guys need to put a few thousand clicks between you and this place before it blows. Get out of here and back on your scheduled assignment. You're escorted to a docking tunnel. Two more soldiers are just coming out of the hatch from your ship. She's clean, sir. And then you are practically thrown through the external hatch by the soldiers. From the other side of the hatch, uh, the station door, they close their, the station door and you hear docking clamps retracting. You need to close the air airlock and do what they said to do. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna run to the bridge, close the airlock, and then make sure all our systems are good to go. Okay. I'm gonna go to the... Should we roll? Should I roll? Uh, I'm gonna go to Nathan and get us out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Give me that piloting roll and make it good. No fear modifier this time. Navigation or piloting? Uh, let's do pilots plus three. Yep, piloting. Uh, it is... It is... 14. And that ship books. You guys start Shoom, taken off as fast as you possibly can. A moment later, Baronix gets this message. Energy spike detected. Portable nuclear explosion. Bearing 182.92. Distance 5,000 kilometers. And as you look at your various systems, you are see that you see that you are still in the Zub system, and you have uh, that's right. I should have written that differently. You that you guys are outside of the Zub system. You are clear to make your jump to Kavma. Um, Was the explosion from the space station? Was that the space station? He said it was going to blow in a few minutes. Okay. Um, 
and um, we up? we will not do the jump this session. I want to respect time boundaries, and so I cut things short. Okay, okay. but um, but we're going to leave it there for this session, and it's really too bad I had to cut it short because there was a lot of things in store in that second nightmare. Um, but um, what else? It's just going to have to do so. Hopefully you guys have a lot of questions now at this point. You've gotten quite... I, I got... What? I got like two questions. You only have two questions. Wow. Um, you guys have gotten some big doulos information. Um, and hopefully um, I will throw some stuff into the next previously on to help remind you guys some of it. but. I noticed that uh, two of you were taking some notes, and I hope you took good notes. Because um, you'll yes. see them. <laughs> I saw you'll see them. <laughs> true, true. All right, guys. We're uh, just going to have to leave it at that. You guys did so good. I wish I could have stretched this out to two sessions or more. You guys really chewed, and I really appreciate all of you at the table.